It's always tough to it's always tough to follow Bill. He, he's so quiet. But you know, I, I do have a couple things I would like to to say about the police department and its relationship with the LGBT community. Uh, last night, I attended uh, two events. Uh, they were held simultaneously up at the police academy. One was my LGBT forum, which is a, a, a group from this community that directly advises me on issues uh, that we need to address. And the other was our first ever graduation of a community police academy dedicated exclusively to the LGBT community. That community police academy graduated uh, 19 uh, individuals who spent eight weeks, eight weeks of their own time, uh, going to the police academy and learning about the Los Angeles Police Department and becoming part of our family in order uh, to better advise us on issues of law enforcement in the community. A really important, important piece and the first in the, uh, in the city's history. Uh, I think that I do have to talk a little bit about the city's history though. And uh, before uh, my great uh, partner and, and predecessor Bernard Parks was chief, there was a chief of the Los Angeles Police Department that when asked uh, if there were gay, me gay members of the Los Angeles Police Department, he said, I know there are because I fire one or two every year. So if you ask this chief of police, if I know whether or not there are LGBT members on the Los, Los Angeles Police Department, my answer is this, I do. They're my brothers and sisters. I think that we do this not only because it's the right thing to do, but is because the thing that makes us a better police department. It's the thing that makes us a police department that is responsible for everybody in this city. As the mayor says, I don't care who your father was. I don't care where you came from. I don't care what, who your partner is. I'm your police chief. This is your police department. And we will protect you and we will protect your rights. Thank you. Yeah,